Hey everybody, you're watching Good Creative Tutorial. If you enjoy this tutorial, be sure to subscribe uh, for weekly updates and tutorials on creative software, uh, including Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop. Go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. In this tutorial, we're going to actually be creating another Alberto Cerezo inspired look. The one I made the other week was focused on one that used a kind of an ink and water look with some custom brushes. This one's a little bit different. Now we're going to be doing just a couple of the same techniques and you're going to spend a lot more time than uh, just in this tutorial if you want to create something that looks more similar to it, but this is kind of a starting step in that direction. So what we'll be doing, uh, if you can see this example here, we have some shapes that we pulled over from Illustrator and then a linear burn layer blending mode added in Photoshop and some masking as well. And then up above that, we have these kind of shapes. In this example, they're arrows. And they have a multiply and some masking out of part of those layers as well. And uh, there's also a couple areas where I selected and duplicated certain areas. And then added a layer style, like a drop shadow. Sometimes an inner glow or inner shadow or an outer glow, just depending and uh, some more shapes. You can see that right there. And some more shapes up there. And finally, uh, another thing that you often see is kind of this, uh, if you can see up here, kind of this inner shadow with some skin there and then some shapes kind of inside there is kind of a common effect in some of the examples that you can see. So, for example, here you can see this inner shadow almost like you can see inside skin a little bit and then we add some shapes and it has that nice shadow you can see the shapes sort of look like they're inside there and then we add some strips of white uh, solid white with the black uh, border there on top of that alright so a couple of techniques we'll be doing is create kind of a similar look that's inspired by Alberto Cerezo So go ahead and um, open up an image. I have this image right here, preferably something with, you know, portrait of someone. A lot of his have a black background. You can cut that out and change the black if you want. This example, I'm just going to show you some of the different techniques to create the artistic effect. I'm offering this uh, support file just for free download uh, if you want to use these shapes. But you can create your own. And I'll show you how. So when you're in Illustrator, what you want to do is just use the pen tool and just click click and drag and then you want to reset that angle and uh, maybe something like this and reset the angle again you know you just want to create whatever shapes you want to create there in this example we're creating some arrows like so and I have a white fill black border For the ones over there what I did uh, I just create let's say kind of a shape like this and you can use when it's selected you can use this twirl tool if you want if you click and hold on to the width tool go down to the twirl tool you can uh, double click on it and change the settings if you want if you want to twirl different ways but something like that so that's how I created um, these over here and then finally uh, and notice that they overlap each other the arrows Finally go over here and just with the pen tool just create some uh, shapes you know that aren't perfectly aligned with each other just kind of more haphazard. I did this kind of complementary color scheme and then just some white fill ones with a black border. So what we'll do is if you see over this an example we can add some of those arrows first. So over in Illustrator say click and drag around say this one just go to edit copy or control command C to copy and we can go to Photoshop uh, I like to use work on a duplicated layer so press control or command J and that will duplicate the layer first then let's just uh, edit paste or control or command V uh, a lot of people like to keep it as a smart object because then you can uh, change the original and it will be reflected in the illustration in here. If you 
paste it as pixels, then if you make it larger than your original placement, it's going to pixelate. But um, for this example, I'm not worried about that because we're not going to make it larger than when we first bring it in. So I'm going to place as pixels, control dash to zoom out, and it's quite large at the beginning. And you can click and drag the corner and hold shift to maintain proportion if you want to resize it. All right. And it, what you want to do, I'm just going to press enter, and it will uh, place it there. You can rotate it, choose the move tool, make sure show transform controls is selected, and you can hover off the corner there and just decide what kind of angle we want this to be at. All right, so you can kind of experiment, move it around like, like so. So I'm just going to do something like this. All right, press enter. And what we need to do is actually mask out part of it. All right, so go ahead and with this area selected, this uh, layer, click the add layer mask at the bottom of the layers palette down here, and then choose a black brush, soft edge, or hard edge if, if you want the hard edge right there. But either way, make sure this white box is selected the the uh, mask and you can do a soft edge there but again we're going to need a nice hard edge on the edge there so you can use a hard edge brush like that you could make a selection take a little bit more time but all right and uh, over here just take that out there and right here something like that all right so that's the first step we have that on top there and we want to just adjust, I mean you could leave it like that, but you can also adjust anything from the opacity, or I'm going to keep the opacity 100% though. I'm just going to change the layer blending mode to multiply. All right, then if you can see in our other example we have more over there, you just repeat the same thing, just go back to Illustrator, draw some other shapes out, in this example I'll use these arrows, edit copy, and then in here, edit paste, zoom out here, and we'll just resize it, with the move tool, and we'll do something like this, and rotate it. All right, again, Adam asked that layer and we want to paint some black in like so alright and over here as well and I think that's okay at the top alright and then change that to multiply as well another uh, method of kind of copying this look is selecting parts of the image and then duplicating it, the selected area, onto a new layer um, in different shapes. So the other example I just had, uh, just this kind of border here, you can kind of see. Um, and that's one way to do that. You can also just select an area and do an inner shadow. Or here we did a drop shadow. And it looks like you know the patterns are running in there in our arm. Um, so how do you do that? Well, if you go over here and make sure your photo layer is selected and just click, I have the polygonal lasso tool, click often. You can also do other selections like shapes, marquee selection tool, uh, ellipse. You can also use the pen tool to make a selection, but for this, I'm just going to do a simple selection like that. All right. So I just selected that area. And I'm going to press Control J, and what that does, this is just its own layer. What was selected, I just held down Alt or Option and click the vis eye icon, and it'll make everything but that layer visible, or actually just make that uh, layer visible. But then we can click again, and every layer will be visible. So the trick there is once we have that on its own layer, go to Layer, Layer Style, and do Drop Shadow. You can move it to the side if you want to set it to normal and experiment with the angle. See what you think. 
and uh, the distance of course you want it to be kind of subtle a little bit but and then size something like that I have it 6 0 and 5 137 angle opacity 75 percent I'll click OK click back on this uh, layer layer 1 I'm going to do another selection on this side All right, and I'm going to go all the way over here, all right, same thing, control J, now on this new layer, we're again going to go to layer, layer style, drop shadow, and see uh, what we can come up with. If you set it the other way, um, you can come up with the different effects. Actually, I have with this one, if we don't want to drop shadow, you can even see what you can come up with the uh, inner shadow or outer glow, for example. You just have to change the color here. Change that to black and to normal. You can kind of see an outer glow. It does a uh, specific effect as well. So you can see what those do. I just have outer glow, normal, 75 opacity, zero noise, and then spread zero, size five pixels. I'm going to click OK. Then we want to go over to Adobe Illustrator, click and drag around this here, copy, edit copy, or control command C, and then over in Photoshop, control command V, we'll paste it in, and we'll obviously need to resize that, click and drag the edge with the move tool, uh, rotate it just like the other one. And with this one, instead of multiply, we will need to, I think linear burn works pretty well. Make that a little bit smaller. Something like that. And if I zoom in, you can kind of see, all right, if I go to linear burn, and I need to mask this one as well, so add a layer mask. And I'm going to actually make a selection this time. Make a selection on a longer elbow like that. And you can uh, brush in black if you want. We could also fill it, but I'm just going to brush in black. All right. So that's that step. All right. And um, I won't go through the rest as far as um, adding this and that. You just do the same thing. You just mask out, paste them in, and then mask out certain areas of it. All right. Um, another cool effect here is this area and this area, which is common in some of his uh, designs. For example, the cover, I think ESPN Magazine had Michael Phelps or someone, and just uh, part of them looked like it cut out, and you could, there's some designs or inside, um, you know, part of his skin or whatever. So how we do a similar technique is, again, just select this uh, layer. And I'm going to use a polynomial lasso tool, just depending on what kind of shape you want. But I'm just going to click, click, click. Oops, I'm going to hold shift to add to that. Okay, so we have a selection here. Press Control J. And then on this new layer, it's just that area of skin. What we're going to do is go to Layer, Layer Style and you can go to inner shadow and I think that looks okay with those settings you can uh, make that to normal I mean, if you want it a little bit more subtle you can drag the opacity down so I have it 55 percent five distance uh, sizes five pixels all right so I'm hit OK and then we need to go over to Illustrator and grab uh, this design here Control C, Command C to copy it. And uh, in Photoshop, we're just going to place. And just resize this with the Move tool again. Going to rotate it. Going to zoom in here. I'm just Command or Control plus and minus. We can zoom in and zoom out. I'll put some like that. All right, 
obviously we want to erase everything but that area. So how do we do that? Well, what you can do is hold down Control Command and click that uh, layer that has just the skin area. And what that will do is a selection of all the pixels on that layer. So that's this layer here. So it's selecting that. But make sure you have layer 8, what we just brought in, this layer of the design there. Make sure that's selected in the layers palette. And what you can do is go to select inverse, press backspace or delete. We could mask it out too, but I'm just going to delete it. Uh, and then that will delete everything but that area. All right. One final step, instead of normal, just go to multiply. Then it looks like it's inside the arm and so you don't have to do the straight lines like that. You could do many different shapes like Alberto Cervezo does uh, inside those areas. And uh, just the final step, if you go to back to the Illustrator file, the support file, and just select all these, copy, and I'm going to paste uh, this one in as well. And resize it, rotate it. A little bit smaller here. Uh, let's see, maybe a little bit larger. So you can still see the color underneath. I'm hit OK and repeat that same step. Control or Command, click that skin layer, and then make sure that new layer selected. Just go to select inverse and then backspace or delete, and we'll delete that area. All right. So that's the basics. Just adding some shapes from Illustrator either right onto the skin or within this kind of inner drop shadow area and then adding uh, new layers with selected uh, areas of skin and uh, just control command J for whatever selected will put that on a new layer and then you could add layer masks or actually just uh, add uh, layer effects to that all right, so different layer styles like drop shadow, inner shadow, uh, maybe outer glow, and inner glow, things like that, will allow you to create that similar look uh, using Photoshop and Illustrator together. So that's our example we did here, and this one is just a couple more designs uh, added in using the same techniques. Thanks.